Hello everyone, Happy New Year. And with this new year, there's a new way to measure, plan, estimate and self-learning. My name's Nigel, and I'm gonna show you the easy way to do this in the customer's home using Measure Square iPad. If you've ever sold flooring, you know what I'm talking about. You go to the customer's home, you produce a mud map, site sketch, floor plan, whatever. Once you've done that, you're gonna go back to the store, you're gonna use your scale paper, your scale rule, and your pencil to draw this plan up, in most cases, not all, and then you're gonna give the customer a quote. With Measure Square iPad, all that disappears. Okay, It'll, it has been designed to allow you to actually measure, plan, estimate, and sell in the customer's home. Okay, let's not beat around the bush. Let's take a look at the diagram page, and I'm going to show you how this really works. Okay, here we go. Here's the diagram screen of the uh, the Measure Square iPad app. As you can see there, I'm just using my, my finger just to drag that screen around. If we have a look across the top here, we have a number of functions. Okay, the main function there is this little down arrow here, and we can add a rectangle room. Tap that room, drag, drag your finger, create a, a rectangle room. If we want to create any other shape room, add the polygon tool. So now I'm just using the finger just to create the shape of the room that I'm actually standing in. You'll notice down the bottom here, we've got a doorway tool, a missing wall tool, change direction of measure, and an angular tool, which I'll demonstrate in a minute. Okay, so... If we turn around and we finish this particular shape off, okay, obviously we've got to position the room where it fits. Now to resize a room, very, very simple. Tap the room, tap the eye, and then tap resize. Now we can resize the room in two ways. If we haven't got a, a laser measure or a Disto D, D510, we can simply put down our tape or our other model laser and take a measurement, tap the little... Uh, calculator icon here we notice that we've got this room or this wall highlighted here and we can type in the dimension so let's just say for instance this is 9.1 click apply and it resizes the room for me I do the same in the other direction apply resizes the room for me okay another way to do this is simply use your disto so all we need to do there is grab our disto Turn the disto on. Next, tap the disto icon on the on the iPad. It'll find the disto. Now we're connected to the disto. All we've got to do now is simply take a measurement with the uh, the Leica disto D510, and it will resize that room for us. Okay. Very very simple. Once we've resized the room, simply turn around and we can actually tap. Position the room where we like to on the screen. Okay, um, we've looked at how we can uh, draw shapes and resize those particular shapes uh, using a disto or using the manual method by putting down the tape. With the iPad uh, edition of the Measure Square software, we can also use the disto to draw directly uh, as we measure. All I've simply got to do is actually move my finger in the direction of measure take a measurement with the disto and it resizes that particular line. Next next uh, direction of measure, take a measurement and it resizes that line. Now we complete that process until we finish the shape. One interesting little feature that I'll show you here is the uh, the, the angle tool. Okay, So down here we have this set square, we tap the uh, set square and it tells us, yeah, we want to take a measurement across there. Now, obviously, we can't because that's an outside measurement. So all we've got to do is tap this little star function, and it tells us where to take the measurement from. Now, in this case, I'm just going to use the calculator tool to take that measurement there. Now, let's say that that was 6 metres across that particular from point to point. Click Apply, and it resizes that angle for us. So very, very effective tool. Turn it off. Keep measuring. And away we go. Okay. Next thing I'm going to cover in uh, in this video is uh, simply how to apply products, and obviously moving through to the estimation process. 
Okay, as mentioned before, what we're going to do now is apply some products to these rooms. Very, very simple. We've exposed the products area by tapping this little grey icon up here. <clears throat> now all we're going to do is drag our carpet across, and it would send the carpet for us. Now, we have multiple options here. We can reposition seams by simply dragging those seams around. We have this information bar down the bottom here, which actually shows us our cuts uh, and fills. Now we may turn around with that and we might say, look, I don't want to install it that way. I want to install it on the vertical. So we tap this particular button here, select the vertical option, and it rotates the job on the vertical for us. You'll notice it's automatically put a third split in there for us to take up the waste. Okay. We can obviously change that. We can remove those, those uh, cross joins. We can remove the third, third split if we don't require them. But we can also add, an, add a T-seams just by simply adding the T-seam function and we can put another cross join in there. If we don't want it, simply drag it out of the room. As you can see, we can apply multiple products. So if we want the laminate in that particular area, you can drag that in there. Again, we can change its direction just by saying vertical, which product that product, click done, it installs the laminate on the vertical for us. And again, multiple products in that room, so we've now got um, two carpets, two, two different types of carpets in there and a laminate. Tap on that orange carpet, it shows us the, uh, the cut, cut for us as well. Alright, once we get to this particular point here and everyone's happy with the layout, um, uh, just something to note when, when, we, when we're installing carpet and vinyl, we also have the option to rotate the direction of installation on one particular room. Uh, the series of uh, training videos that you'll see on, on, on this particular page covers that in more depth. Uh, this is really just to give you an idea on how to get from A to B. Okay, so at this point here we're ready to produce a quote. We select that function button there and we go to our worksheet. Our worksheet uh, calculates everything that we've got on that screen. Okay, it's in square meters, but it also calculates carpet in lineal and also vinyl in lineal. But we do have to put a square meter pr price in there. You can see this calculated pull up, underlay, installation, and so on. Once we get to that point there, we can simply say send, and we can send this information as a quote to the customer via email. Okay, it's up to us what we want to show them. We can turn off information like price amounts I mean they can just have you know, essentially you know, we are supplying this product in the following rooms for the following price once we click done it will actually turn around and uh, obviously attach all that information to an email or it's actually sending that, that particular quote to the customer now one of the final areas that we'll look at uh, with this particular short video is how do we send this information not only to the customer, but how, how do we send it to the installer? At the top of the screen here, we have a little icon. It says View Report. Okay, now in the View Report, report option, we have the option to send the diagram, cut list, and estimation summary. We can also turn around and select various bits of information that we want to share with those particular people. All we need to do here is tap done, and there we go. We have an installation diagram, cut sheet for the various products, and estimation summary. Of course, we can turn most of that information off depending on who we're sending this report to. One of the other areas within this uh, view report is share project. So share project file. What that enables us to do is actually share the project file with other team members uh, using MeasureSquare iPad or even MeasureSquare iPhone. As we can see here, it's attached the project to an email. Obviously put your colleague's email in there and then send that email. But that's the new way to plan flooring in 2014. Thanks for your time. We'll be producing more videos more detailed videos on the different aspects of the software in the coming weeks and months. So check back with us, download your trial now from iTunes and we look forward to seeing you on board. Thank you very much.